guys, welcome back to my channel and to today's quite chilled, really really chilled actually video which is going to be a brand new Primark haul. So the reason I look like this is actually because I've been at uni this morning, I had one of my presentations for one of the modules that was at uni so therefore I took myself off into Sheffield and then after the course we actually went for a drink just to celebrate one of the modules that like half the module being over so then following that I was obviously in Sheffield and they've got a brand new Primark there which is the reason why I am doing a Primark haul today I went into the new Primark and picked up some goodies there's actually a lot more in this bag than you would think but that's because it's raining outside and I was just saying to the woman in Primark at the till please just shove everything in this bag as much as possible and I actually did pick up quite a lot for my summer holidays coming up in just one week. So I thought I would show you what I've been picking up today because you guys seem to really like my Primark hauls. I really enjoy watching Primark hauls and also I picked up some really nice bits here that I thought I would share with you all. So there is actually a lot to get through so let's crack on with the haul. Right first things first I picked up some absolute necessities for holidays and just for general anyway especially because I wear my hair up pretty much all the time. I picked up some more Invisibobbles. These were just a pound you get 12 in this set and and again they're just amazing I never actually use a different hair bubble other than invisible bubbles now they just work so nicely and I feel like they add a lot of volume as well plus 12 for a pound can you really complain I also got some nice new knickers so I just picked up these um set of three pants so these are like a thong lace style I got these flowery ones there's some pink ones and some black ones and they came in a set for three pound for three so that's pretty good as well next I also picked up some little earrings I wear my little studs all of the time but they're like quite bent now and I've had them for so many years that I'm actually getting a little bit bored of them they're very trusty and I wear them all the time but I am getting a little bit bored so I picked up a little set of earrings I will hold that near the camera so that you can see hopefully but yeah it's got like I think it's 12 sets of is it 12 sets nine sets of earrings in it some little studs well all of them are little studs some of them are a little bit different and got flowers on some have got hands on them some are just like little pretty studs so I thought I could mix things up a little bit and wear them ones plus it doesn't really matter if you lose them because there's only they're only two pounds so that's pretty good I'm also just gonna be pulling stuff out of this bag willy-nilly so all gonna be in a bit of a random order next I also picked up a pack of more dressy earrings so I picked up these ones here which are kind of hooped earrings, dangly earrings, things that are a little bit more exciting, things to wear on a night on holiday, things to just wear in general. There is how many sets here? Nine again, and they were three pounds, so an extra pound for something a little bit extra. I really like the earrings that you like, they look like studs, but then they've got the dangly bits on, so there's some of these in here, and I'm also really into wearing hooped earrings at the minute, so yeah, there's some of them in there as well. Next, I picked up some wonderful nipple silicone petals because I've got so many swimming costumes for this summer and I really wanted something just to kind of cover my boobs when I'm out and about in case there's any accidents happening with boob falling out when I'm in a swimming costume which obviously I don't want although this might make them look a bit more weird for how much were these two pound I thought I'd give them a little try I saw some on ASOS which were about eight pound and I thought I've never actually tried them before so I don't want to spend eight pound on something that I'm never going to be able to return and would be a bit weird returning so I thought I'd give them a whirl see how we get on and I'll try them on with my swimwear. Next I picked up some sunglasses. I went a little bit sunglasses crazy because my friend told me that she got some for a pound from Primark and I loved them so I picked up a few pairs. Firstly I got this really cute blue pair which have got mirrored lenses and they're like a lilac-y sort of blue in colour and I just thought these were really really nice. They also come with a glasses case so just like a material case. These ones cost £3 and I just thought these were really cute. They're just like really oversized, really really cute and I thought they looked nice on top of your head. Like a really nice colour as well just as an accessory. Sometimes if my hair's a little bit crazy what I tend to do on a daytime is actually just push it back with some sunglasses and just wear sunglasses on my head as like an accessory. Surely I can't be the only person who does that. So I picked them ones up and I really 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 like them. Next I picked up this pair were actually a little bit grubby so they need a bit of a wipe but they are some just classic aviator sort of style sunglasses with dark lenses. These ones were £1.50 so I'm really really good as well and they actually need adjusting a little bit because I think they're a little bit bent so a lot of people have probably tried these on in Primark but I really like these as well. Really easy for like daytime and also festivals this summer. I never like to spend a lot of money on sunglasses really because you can get such good ones in Primark for such cheap amounts of money. Next I also picked up this pair of sunglasses which is a reflective pair of silver aviators. Aviators are my kind of sunglasses, they just suit me to a T, I absolutely love them. These ones are a little bit oversized so I'd like to wear these a little bit further down my nose just to make them look a bit cooler. Again they come with a little case and these ones were an incredible 
Rebel Pound. These are the ones that Zoe told me about, which is the reason why I went to Primark for sunglasses, because I thought they look incredible for a pound. So these are the ones I picked up for a pound, really, really like these. Very, very oversized, but we all love a good old pair of oversized sunglasses, don't we? Next then, we will move swiftly onwards. I picked up some cutesy little pyjamas for the cruise. I did pick up some in my last Primark haul I did, but they were such good value that I thought I'll pick up another pair, wear them throughout the summer, and I can also take them on the cruise as well. I'm gonna need more than one pair of pyjamas for two weeks. So these are the bottoms, and I just think they're really, really sweet. They've got this really nice sort of floral cute pattern on it with sort of like an embroidered bottom. These were £2.50, I think. Yes, £2.50. I got them in a medium, which is a 10 to 12. And I like pyjamas to just be a little bit oversized on the bottom. So I really like them. £2.50 is amazing. It'll last me years as well. I'm always the same with pyjamas. I've got pyjamas that have been living in that room and in that drawer for so, so long. And then I picked up a dark blue top to go with them. So this was what they would look like together, which I thought was really, really nice. Top was £2.50 again. I got this one in a 6 to 8 because that's what size I am in tops. And I really, really like it. It's got like a floral sort of embellished embroidered back which is really really cute a little bit different and I just really like it they're really really comfortable right I also went in with the intention of getting some swimwear oh typical these are blooming come undone haven't they so this is the top of them I got oh my gosh what's going on the top that I got was like this so it's like this sword um it's really hard to describe it's got sort of like a pattern on it but in embroidery and it's really really nice I liked the front of this one as well with the crisscrossy front and the back is a clip back and it goes over your shoulders just like this I haven't tried these on yet this one I got in a size 8 and it was six pounds for the top and the bottoms are currently like not done up but they were size 10 and I got them in a, I got them in a four I didn't get them in a four they were size 10 and they were four pounds so ten pound for a really nice bikini plus there's a bit of padding in the boobage area of this so that should help me out just a little bit so I'm excited to try them on and see what they look like next I picked this one up which at first I wasn't too sure about so I'm gonna try it on and see what it looks like and then it may well have to go back this is the top of it and it kind of reminds me of like the sky and like marble and just looks really pretty and what drew me to it in particular was these straps I really like them I really like the like frilly detail and this is really really on trend at the minute as well again this one has a clasp back so it should be great to fasten and it's a v-neck front so and also to make it even better it's also got padding in the boobage area as well so that should help me out a little bit especially if those silicone petals don't look so great and um, and then I also picked up the matching bottoms which are just like this I got these in a size 10 and they were five pound and the top was eight pounds so that bikini was a little bit more expensive may well go back I'm going to see how it looks and then to go with the khaki bikini so well I say khaki but it's kind of a blend of everything but overall the majority of this bikini is kind of a khaki color um I got the cover up that was beside it so I picked up this one here which is like a play suit oh god I'm struggling here which is a play suit design why are we so tangled why oh why oh why right okay there we go so oh my gosh still this is what it looks like it's got a tie in the middle with some nice gold embellished ties on it and um, it's very very thin you can see right through it but it kind of has got a bit of a pattern to it actually within it if I don't know if you'll be able to see that but Actually, I think you can see that. There's a bit of a pattern to it, which is quite sweet. And I just thought this would look really nice over that bikini, just to chuck on um, in Ibiza or on the cruise, whichever one really. And I got this in a bit of a bigger size because the size small looked like really small. So I got it in a medium and it was five pounds. So went in with that one. Then I also picked up some little travel bottles. I saw these near the till and I, earlier on in the morning, I was thinking about how I'm gonna be taking my kind of creams and lotions and potions away with me. And I don't really wanna take them because the glass containers, um, it's heavy and I'd rather just take a certain amount and then bring it back and put it back into the containers So I saw these near the till and these were a pound these seven pack of travel bottles You've got a variety of different sizes so larger ones and then they go down in size There's also just a mini one like a little what looks like an empty lip balm And there's also kind of like a spout to put your product into them it Also comes with some stickers as well, which I thought was really cool So it's got like shampoo conditioner toner cleanser moisturizer makeup remover shower gel and body lotion so you can actually squeeze stuff into these. These would also be great just to keep for any trips when I'm going to be just taking hand luggage. Um, so I picked them up and a pound, you definitely can't complain, they would be so much more expensive in boots. So winning with that one. And then I was going to leave it there but then I saw this outfit when I went in and I originally wasn't going to get it and then I thought no because it looks really nice. And I'm just trying to justify it to myself right now by talking to you guys. So I picked up this really sweet rust coloured terracotta 
bralette which I absolutely love it's like a little crop top with really cute kind of embroidered pattern along the top this is very very boho chic but I really love it and I think this will go with so many different things this little top it's a lot brighter on camera than it actually is in real life it's more like a rusty color whereas I think on camera it looks more red again this one I got in a size 8 and it was five pounds so I think actually I may wear this one at Creamfields this summer with maybe some shorts or haven't quite decided yet I might experiment a little bit I might wear it with some shorts and maybe a khaki coat or a khaki jacket with some gold jewelry that would look really really cool um, however I saw it like above these trousers and I thought that would look like such a nice outfit for holiday so I picked up these um, I can't remember what you call them like palazzo trousers palazzo trousers and they've got like a tie around the waist go right down they're baggy all the way down and I just really thought this would look super cute with the terracotta crop top so I got them both as a set sort of thing. The trousers are a size 8 as well. They were £13 and I just really, really like them. So I got them as well. I haven't decided when I'm going to wear them. Maybe on a night time on the cruise with maybe some heeled shoes or some sandals. That would be totally appropriate. And yeah. I just really like that outfit and that's why I decided to get it in the end. And I also got one of the trusty Primark material bags because it's raining in Chesterfield today and I didn't want to be that typical person that's Primark bags break in the middle of the street and your knickers fly all over the pavement. That would not be ideal in the middle of the city, would it? So I picked up one of them for a pound because I was not letting that happen again because it's happened before. Anyway, I really, really hope that you have enjoyed this little haul video and enjoyed seeing some of the last minute bits I've been picking up from my holiday holidays which are coming up really really soon in the next week actually and yeah on that note i'm gonna leave you guys here please be sure to give this video a massive thumbs up for me click the subscribe button down below check out my most recent primark haul i've been doing festival hauls as well with misguided top shop hauls asos hauls various different summer hauls are here on my channel at the minute because i've been picking up so many different pieces for my holidays coming up soon and on that note i will see you guys in my next video bye